Rush to require cancer shot threatens to promote backlash. They just brought me an old story. USA Today. Thanks to vaccines, devastating diseases such as smallpox, polio have been virtually eradicated in the U.S. They wouldn't have happened in states hadn't required immunizations for serious contagious vaccines. Hadn't required. It's not the law. They just say required, which they know fools most people. Before a child can attend school. Now there's a new vaccine, one of the potential to prevent cervical cancer that kills 3,700 women each year in the U.S. Called Gardasil. It's manufactured by Merck. And it goes on to say Governor Rick Perry is so enthusiastic about Gardasil that a week ago he ordered all girls in the state to be immunized before entering the sixth grade. But see, we called him on this and he had to say, oh, I don't have the power. And now he says in the speeches, it's recommended. See, there you are. Oh, I just recommended it. And now it's coming out all over the news that they paid off the California legislature. All right, I said I'd go to your calls. I'll get to this next hour. I, I don't want to cover this and not cover it with precision and hit all the points. The magnitude of this, murdering killers run the major big pharma companies and give money to eugenics organizations. The eugenics organizations were founded by Big Pharma that was owned and run by the British royalty, Dutch royalty, Rothschilds, and Rockefellers. The Rockefellers in the 20s discovered with their scientific firms, this is all on record, that cancer was viral. Most cancer is from viruses. The Daily Mail, in fact, guys, pull this up, they have video. Headline, electron microscope shows white blood cells eating cancer viruses. No, eating cancer cells. But see, when they flood your body with all this, with adjuvants and all these different cancer viruses tied in with other DNA, baby DNA from fetal tissue, you name it, your body stops. Your body can only get up and fight so many fights. It's awesome. But it keeps getting hit, and it keeps getting hit. It's only got so many hits it can take. And finally, your immune system just gives up. Starts fighting in all directions at first, and you have all these disorders, all these joint problems, all these intestinal problems, all this horrible stuff happens, and finally it just gives up and you die of cancer. They played that doctor that helped develop the polio shot with Dr. Sock from CBC last Friday. I played that many times. And uh, the, the, the YouTube clip they found was one that had, like, text over it and stuff. You ought to find the raw CBC. I think we'll find that. We played it years ago. And we should do that in a nightly news piece where the scientist, unedited, goes into, and I said, you know, this has all got cancer viruses, and they all laugh about it and have a little celebration. And you can pull up the U.S. government documents where they talk about hundreds of millions of Americans being given cancer viruses, uh, in some cases more than 40 different ones, in every polio vaccine. By the way, it's still going on. And... Uh, Leukemia virus is everything. And then you wonder why all these kids are getting leukemia. I'm going to tell you again, I've had medical doctors on this show. You've heard them. Every one of them agrees. People that were just trained 30 years ago, some of them are older than 50 years ago, like Dr. Stan Monteef, he will tell you that when he went to medical school, they would put you on a train as a, as a medical student graduate who was in, uh, you know, finalizing um, uh, their... Uh, their degree uh, working in hospitals, they would put them on a train and later on planes and fly them thousands of miles to see a child with cancer. You, you would walk in and there'd be men in lab coats everywhere and went and just like this is this is in you know incredible. The studying, the rareness, it was like a four leaf clover to the medical community. Now it's just death to the left, death to the right. Kids shaved heads, eyes. Children's eyes, when they're getting near death, burn with so much life. Right before death. Not not, not as they're sick and feeling horrible, they look tired, but right as the death. Right as the life force is leaving them. Their little eyes burn with all that electricity. These murderers are killing them. They're killing kids everywhere, ladies and gentlemen. And you idiots send me emails and say, don't you fake cry on air. Listen to me, you bastard, scum-sucking maggot. All right, I, I, I apologize. I have to control myself not to break down on air. It is it is in between murderous anger and crying, okay? When I image children and children I see out in public, sometimes even with the with the uh 
chemotherapy injectors strapped to their arms at the mall, and they'll look at you in passing, and those eyes are just on fire, and you're just like, oh. You want to go warn their parents, you can go ask the parents the whole path. The mommy wants to take care of the dearest. The child's had 100 shots. They're black op murdered. And you know not to even say anything to mama. Sometimes I will say something to them. And they think it's so weird that somebody would want to talk to somebody. Because we're only supposed to go back to our dens of death, our little death chambers, and wait for death and watch the TV with the painted little, little, little tarts and strumpets up there smiling at you with death and, and just this whole culture. You are being murdered. You are being killed. You are being slaughtered. And the death is all around us. And all this Gardasil, all of it is a test. How many can we kill? How much carnage can we push? And now they come out with a hoax and say, no one's ever gotten sick from Gardasil. I'll pay $10,000 anybody that can prove it. Huh. But if you're a new listener and you're saying, what on earth is this guy talking about? You need to understand that the reason Hitler was able to get away with what he did, Stalin, all the rest of them, is because people didn't realize the level of evil they were dealing with. And tyrants have learned how to hide things in your food, your water, your vaccines. How do cowards kill? They weaken. They poison. That's what a soft kill is. They kill you and you die 20 years later. They are masters of soft kill. It is a religion of soft kill. Why do some people like to grab kids off the street and torture them and kill them? Or, you know, grab a cat and throw it in a garbage can and set it on fire or run over somebody? It's those type of people that run things. But they're smarter than the average scum. They like to do it slow. And their scientific excuse for it is there's too many of us and they're getting rid of us. Truth is, they just like killing people. All right, I'm going to go to your calls. I just hope that everybody will join us tonight um, at 7 o'clock. PrisonPlanet.tv, InfoWarsNews.com. If you believe in alternative media and want to support us building this platform to reach even millions more, please become a PrisonPlanet.tv member. We got Kurt Haskell coming on with breaking 9-11 style false flag news dealing with the underwear bomber who he witnessed the U.S. government getting on the plane. Now we're going to get into Gardasil. I'm going to start really hammering this. Big report tonight. I'm going to do more in the next hour after we get through these calls. Ed in North Carolina, thanks for holding her on the air. Hey, how's it going, Alex? Oh, I'm doing all right, but it's really shaking me up that even though they've been caught killing people with this Gardasil and maiming others, uh, California is set to... Inject the kids without parents' consent. I didn't even know about this till I heard Wakefield on Friday. I went and read the bill over the weekend, and sure enough, it's true. It's on wow. the governor's desk. Jesus. Yeah. That is not good. Not good at all. Well, it shows you how, how authoritarian these people are. Yeah, it's insane. Especially in California, you'd never expect that. You shouldn't expect that, but I guess we're all on the same page now. We're being controlled by people that are secretive enough and powerful enough. Well, yeah, California has really woken up to vaccines. I've seen statistics, well, even in the um, Washington Post, of upwards of 70% in the highest educated areas don't vaccinate their children. And so the system just says they're going to take your kids and do it anyways. <laughs> I'm sorry, what'd you call in about? I just uh, had a few points. Um, basically, it's nothing really on the topic today. I think you've pretty well covered it, and uh, I think it's a very important topic, and I definitely share your... Uh... Brother, we're all over the map. That's why we take calls. This isn't a standard talk show. Go ahead. What's your point? Um, basically, I just wanted to support Ron Paul, and uh, I see the Republican nomination trying to block him in any way possible. Yeah, but he now just won the California straw poll. Perry had the Texas straw poll canceled because it would have embarrassed him. That's not come out. Uh, we a website called uh, AmericansElect.org. They are paying to put a third-party uh, no nominee on the ballot in 50 states. So if we get all the Ron Paul supporters on there, you answer about, I think they have four or 500 different questions about everything you can think of on there. And then... In fall, sometime in the next month or two, they're going to start having candidates to vote for 
So that's something. Well, I got to tell you, I've talked to Ron Paul. He is not going to run as a third party. He's doing this with the Republican system. That's his best shot. And if not, he's going to go to Congress for one more year and then retire. But good points. All right, I'm going to keep going to your calls till this, this bank of them's done. Coming up, I'm going to start getting into some big developments on the Gardasil front. This affects the government trying to take control of your children without your consent and a lot more. Then I've got other news I'm going to hit. But let's finish up with these calls I've been holding. Always enjoy hearing from you. Uh, CJ in Michigan, you're on the air. Hey, CJ, buddy. Welcome. Okay, let's go to Jonathan in Kansas. Jonathan, you're on the air. Yes, um, Alex. I have a few news articles. One about uh, Taliban. Another one about something. I know you feel like we're in the Matrix. Well, this is something that will remind you that we are in the Matrix. And another one, which is uh, about Google Street View. And there's one video, but I'm going to go really quick, too, uh, quick, so I don't want to take up too much of your time. Okay, the one about uh, the news article that will remind you you're in the Matrix. Do you remember in the Matrix they said about liquefying the dead? Well, in the BBC, there's a news article saying uh, new body liqu liquefaction unit, meaning that human bodies, to dispose of them, instead of cremation, they're advocating for this new system of liquefying human bodies. In yeah, because burning them is carbon evil. And so you can't even have the death ritual, uh, the death rite you want, uh, because burning something is bad. You've got to get a permit from these sickos or pay a tax. I did see that. In fact, guys, print that for me. Uh, what was the headline again? Uh, go to BBC and put in body liquefaction. Like liqua, it's L I. Q no, I got it. I got it. I got it. Body liquid fashion. Thank you. What was the next thing? Okay. The next thing is about how Google Street View snapped pictures of a naked woman in Florida. And it was on her property. Yeah, I saw that. Now, it, was a, it was a naked black lady. Yeah, that was one. Another one is about, um, let's see, it's about how Taliban former president Barhandi by the way, Rabini, he was assassinated because he was supposedly going to negotiate with the Taliban. And he was stalled, this negotiation, because he was killed by a bomber with a bomb in his turban. So how convenient, right? It's all ridiculous. You can't believe a word of it. I also have a video. Are you still there? Yep. Okay. The video is, you remember how... You were in the documentary, The Rise of the New Right. Well, and they was talking about how they falsely claimed erroneously that you um, inciting violence. Yes. Well, what about Obama supporting Jimmy Hoffa saying, let's take these SOBs out? You remember that? And they've since had unions take over and hold people hostage and beat people up and break things. But that's a OK, because. That's something the government wants to happen right now because they want the unions to think the government's their friend when it's actually the opposite. Uh, but uh, sure, go ahead and play the clip. Oh, the clip? Yeah, you said you had a video clip you wanted to play. No, I, no, I don't think uh, you guys could hear it anyway. But the video, you could just look it up on YouTube and just say Jimmy Hoffa. No, no, he did it two weeks ago. I, I remember. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, it got big national point. news. He said, let's take these SOBs out. I remember. Uh, uh, do you, okay, do you also have the, did you find the article about the, the Afghan president yet? Because the former president, because, uh, I don't know, I was thinking that it was just convenient. Well, yeah, I mean, who knows? Look, over in Afghanistan, you got a bunch of tribes killing each other over opium. And before that, if you go back 300 years ago, they were killing each other over the silk route out of china into eastern and western europe all the pottery the different uh, silks the different spices uh, that the west wanted to pay for and so they're always going to be killing each other and that's the way it is the only reason our government has quote our troops there is to control and cultivate the opium so they can run it up your children's veins we'll be right back